In this video, I'm going to give you a great in-depth guide on how to unlock the Ray K84 weapon for free in Firebase Z. To begin building the Ray K, you'll first need to have the power activated and Pack-a-Punch available. And if you don't know how to do that, I've got a link below. But once you have, you will be able to access this new room called the Weapon Lab. Inside the Weapon Lab will be our first part, which is on the wall here, and it's the blueprint for the Ray K. And another way to access this room is from this door here from the Rocky Defense. Once you've picked that up, we can move on to the next step, which involves going to the scorched defense side of the map so just follow where i do through the helipad past the barracks and then you'll be in scorched defense and on the far right side by this burning tank right to the back of scorched defense you will see a body part that will have appeared as well as a weapon trial folder that you can pick up once you've done that go up to the body and you'll be able to retrieve dimitri's eye and it activates this awesome cutscene where your player will actually pierce through his skull retrieving his eye definitely one of the more gruesome things we've seen in cold war zombies but very very cool once you've picked up the eye make your way back to the weapon lab you'll be able to use that eye on the computer for a retina scan once that's complete a drawer will open giving you a locker key now you've got this locker key make your way to the barracks area of the map and in barracks one and barracks two there's going to be a series of lockers we're in barracks two at the moment and you can see there are three lockers we can open using the key Every time you open these lockers, it's going to spawn Mimic Zombies. And one of these Mimic Zombies that will spawn from you opening all these lockers will drop the next part we need. It's complete random. And as you can see, opening all three lockers and getting that first Mimic didn't give me the part. Going into Barracks 1, we have four lockers that we can open. And on the third locker that I opened, it spawned in another Mimic. And after killing this Mimic, it dropped me the part that we need, which is the Barrel Assembly. Once you've picked this part up, go back to the computer in the Weapon Lab and use it. And you'll notice an animation on screen of a radar that is beeping several times and stopping in different positions. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to note down how many times this radar has moved to the right and to the left. Because what this is simulating is it's actually simulating different number positions on a dartboard, which we can find in the spawn room. This sequence will randomize in every single game, so it won't be the same as what you're seeing here. But let's break this down a little bit so you can understand it. And to make this even easier to understand, I'm going to overlay the actual dartboard itself. You can understand where it stops and this what number it weapon. correlates to. So as soon as I activate the computer, I'm counting how many times this little radar has moved. I can also count the beeps as well so you know how many times it's moved. So it moved 11 times there to the right. So I remember that position and I'll count it as 11 to the right. Once it hits that 12 o'clock, I then count how many times it moved to the left, which in this case it was four. Then it moved back up to the 12 o'clock. So my three total numbers I'm going to shoot correlate to that 11 to the right, four to the left, and then zero, that top 12 o'clock point can replay the sequence on the computer as many times as you want so i definitely recommend doing that so you get the exact area you're going to need to shoot on this dartboard but when you're ready teleport back to the spawn make sure you have a single shot weapon like an assault rifle which you can shoot one bullet into in this case i use the xm4 but you can use the ak-47 anything that is automatic and you can control its fire rate to single shot in the courtyard you'll want to enter this room next to pack a punch called village mess hall since i'm doing this on solo i use decoy grenades I definitely recommend you do the same. But starting with my sequence, it was 11, right? So I start at the top 20 and I literally count 11 and I get to 19. So I shoot that number 19 and then went four to the left. Since in my sequence, that was the next number to shoot, which on this dartboard is 14. Then the final number was literally 12 o'clock pointing straight up, which was 20. And then finally, to finish off your code, you're going to need to shoot the bullseye in the middle. If you've done this correctly, you'll see that the part will come out of the dartboard and be on the floor and there's only one more part we need to get once you've picked that up we're going to have to progress in the game until about round 15 onwards so you start getting mangler spawns these are the new mechanical zombies that spawn in after round 15 that have cannons on their arms and what you want to do kill them like you normally would and after a certain amount of mangler kills one of them will drop this next part for you it could be the first one you kill it could be the third one but eventually one of them will drop the part which is a uncharged power cell. In my game, it got really, really hectic. So I didn't notice this drop for quite a while. So just keep a lookout and make sure you're staying 
aware of all the manglers that you're taking out. Once you've picked it up, go into the weapon lab and place it on this table and it's actually going to charge this magazine, but you're going to have to leave it for two whole rounds. So I placed it in here at round 16 and it wasn't available to re-pick up until the start of round 18. When it is done, you'll be able to tell because it will be a charged power cell that you can now pick up. With all of those parts gathered, make your way to the workbench in the weapon lab next to the computer and it will let you craft the Ray K84. That is how you get the Wonder Weapon for free in Firebase C. No mystery box required. You're probably curious if this thing can be upgraded and it can. It can actually be pack-a-punch directly by putting it into the pack-a-punch machine and it can be upgraded three times, very similar to the ray gun in D Machina. It's pretty much treated like that. Does that mean that is the only upgrade? Absolutely not. I'll have videos covering all of that on the channel and more Easter egg guides, so be sure to stay tuned. But the playlist link down below if you need any more help and subscribing so you don't miss out. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, it'd be awesome to drop this a like rating if you found it useful and informative. Let me know if it was useful in the comments and I'll catch you next time. If you love zombie posters, I have an incredible Cold War Zombies poster that's just launched that you can grab via the link in the description it is a full-on movie size poster double ended with park in d machina and samantha maxis in the dark ether you can have it up whichever way you want it looks fantastic if you want to grab one there is a link in the description along with my cold war zombies perk poster pack that now contains the tombstone perk as well thank you for watching i'll see you soon